Now we shall see subtraction with conversion. You don't have to confuse. This is basic subtraction. Only thing since it's money, we are converting it. But I'll teach you the conversion. In conversion also you'll get the same answer and normal subtraction also you'll get the same answer. Since you have to know conversion, we'll just teach you conversion. See 20 minus 75. You cannot take 20 paise minus 75 paise. So we will borrow 1 rupee. So 1 rupee is 100 paise. So this 100 paise plus 20 paise will be 120 paise. Now 120 paise can be minus by 75 paise. So 120 paise minus 75 paise. 10. This becomes 11. So 10 minus 5 is 5. 7 min 11 minus 7 will be 4. So this is 45 paise for you now. Since I have taken 1 rupee, this becomes 51 rupees. So 51 rupees minus this 38 rupees. This becomes 11, this becomes 4. So 8 minus 11 is 3, so this is 13. So if you subtract this also, you will get the same answer. 0, you cannot minus it by 5, so this becomes a 10, this becomes 11. So 10 minus 5 is 5, 11 minus 7 will be 4. 2 again, you cannot do it, so this becomes 11, this becomes 4. 11 minus 8 will be 3, 4 minus 3 will be 1. So rupees 13 and 45 if you subtract it. Here also if you convert it and subtract it also you will get the same answer. Rupees 13 and 45 paise. Here same way we will do it without conversion just basic subtraction alone. 5 carried on. 6 minus 3 is 3. 5 minus 8 you cannot minus so this becomes 15 this becomes a 6 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 7 6 minus 2 will be 4 so this is rupees 47 and 35 paise here again 0 minus 0 is 0 5 minus 1 is 4 this 2 you cannot take it out so this becomes a 12 and this becomes a 8 this becomes 12 minus 8 will be 4, 8 minus 4 will be a 4 again. So rupees 44 and 40 paise. Here the 5 just carry it down. This becomes a 12, this becomes 1. So 12 minus 4 is 8, 1 you cannot minus it. So this becomes 3, this becomes 11. So this becomes 7, 11 minus 4 is 7, 3 minus 2 will be 1. So rupees 17 and 85 paise. Here 0, so this becomes a 10, this becomes 5. 10 minus 5 is 5. You cannot borrow it, you cannot minus it, so this becomes 15, this becomes 3. 15 minus 8 is 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 7. So 3 again you cannot minus it from 5 so this becomes 13, this becomes 2, 13 minus 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 8, 2 minus 1 is 1. So this will be rupees 18 and 75 paise. Again here you cannot minus it so this becomes 10, this becomes 0. So 10 minus 5 is 5. So this again becomes a 10 and this becomes a 3. 10 minus 9 is how much? 1. So 3 you cannot take off from 6. So this becomes 13 and this becomes 5. 13 minus 6 is 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 7. 5 minus 3 is 2. So this is rupees 27 and 15 paise. Here again. This 0 you cannot minus it, so this becomes a 10, this becomes 4. 10 minus 5 will be 5. You cannot take away 4 from 7, so this becomes 14 and this becomes 2. 14 minus 7 will be 7. So 2 minus 3 you cannot do it, so this becomes 12 and this becomes a 7. 
12 minus 3 will be 9. 7 minus 3 will be 4. So rupees 49 and 75 paise. Now let us see word problems in subtraction. The first word problem is Arun bought a book for rupees 24.50 and a pen for rupees 18.50. How much more did he spend to buy a book? So how much more which means it's a subtraction. So cost of the book. Rupees 24.50 Cost of the pen is rupees 18.50 0 minus 0 0 minus 0 is 0 5 minus 5 is 0 again 4 you cannot borrow it so you cannot, I'm sorry, you cannot minus it. So this becomes a 14 and this becomes a 1. 14 minus 8 will be 6. So amount he spent more is 6. The next sum, Rani bought fruits for rupees 45.50. He gave rupees 100 to the shopkeeper or the seller. How much did she get back? So first, amount Rani gave to the shopkeeper. Or amount, amount given to the sh shopkeeper is more easier. is rupees 100. No Pisces, so I am putting 0, 0. Cost of the fruits. What's the cost of the fruit? 45.50. So, we will minus it to find the amount she got back. So 0 minus 0 is 0. This becomes 10. 10 minus 5 is 5. This becomes a 9. 9 minus 5 is 4. This becomes a 9 since you borrowed it. 9 minus 4 will be 5. So amount she got back rupees 54 and 50 paise Sita bought a family pack ice cream for rupees 230 and 50 paise. She gave rupees 500 to the shopkeeper. Find the balance amount she got. So, amount given to the shopkeeper. This rupees 500. Cost of the family pack, cost of the ice cream. Will be rupees 230 and 50 paise. Now we will have to subtract it to find the balance she got back. 0 minus 0 is 0. This becomes 10. This becomes 9. So 10 minus 5 is 5. Bring down the 9 as such. This again becomes a 9. So 
this becomes a 4. 9 minus 3 is 6. 4 minus 2 is 2. Balance she got is rupees 269 and 50 paise. Next sum. Prakash bought a cake and a cherry packet for rupees 97 and 50 paise. The cost of the cake is given is 49.50. You have to find the cost of the cherry packet. Cost of the cake and cherry packet. equal to rupees 97.50 cost of the cake it's the cost of the cake cost of the cake is 49.50 so to find out the cost of the cherry packet we'll have to minus this from this 0 minus 0 is 0 5 minus 5 is 0 7 you cannot minus it so this becomes a 17 and this becomes a 8 17 minus 9 is 8 8 minus 4 is 4 so the, therefore cost of a cherry packet or the cherry packet will be rupees 48.